Oh, excuse the jittering. Just coming up here to the quail cage, show you my modification. I, uh, <laughs> a little male. He's running away. Another little male right there. So, anyway, calling these, uh, my quail tractors and uh, there's no floor in it it's just sitting on bare dirt held down with uh, tent stakes because it gets super windy here in Nevada the furring strip holds the uh, tops in place um, I put the little bungee cord on there to uh, foil some local kitty cats. Let's see how they doing on water. Well, they've got they've got water. It's kind of muddy, but they got plenty of water for now. All right. <clears throat> so the modification I did to this thing was that. I put wheels on it. All I did was take two pieces of furring strip, glued them together. I used uh, construction screws. These are the cutoff ends, so the construction screws are driven up, driven in from this side. And a couple of more construction screws here to attach it to the frame. I did the same thing back here on this side. So now all I've got to do is lift the front and uh, pull this thing to fresh ground whenever it needs it. I just moved it. It had only been a little while. I mean, that's where it was sitting. So. Everything's doing all right. Looks like uh, birds might have been fluffing around up in here. It's all right. Push some dirt under it. Everybody's doing okay. Scratching in the dust. Kind of what they do best. Scratch around in the dust. You kind of figure that's their job. So, got a bunch of birds in here. That's a little male just stood up tall. That's a little female right over there. These guys are uh, six weeks old as of yesterday. So, they should start laying eggs any time now. Um, the birds that I've got in the enclosure over there are laying eggs like crazy. These guys, uh, what do I feed them? I feed them a 50-50 mix consisting of 27% protein, uh, turkey, game bird, starter, crumble and 16 percent protein layer crumble. I mix it 50-50. That makes sure they get all the protein they need. And uh, they should start uh, laying eggs and being happy little birds and chasing each other around. There's two things about these quail uh, people need to know either give them more room than they technically need. Technically they need one square foot per bird. Uh, so either give them a lot more than that, which gives them a lot of running area to get away from each other, or pack them in tight. Give them half a square foot per bird, 
pack them in tight. That way, these doggone hens won't get all heated up and start killing them. Um, these are vicious little birds to each other. They really are. Uh, I've had a hen in one cage kill two birds and come close to killing a third. Uh, before I got it out of there, I got it out just in time. Um, and it's, it's really just a single hen that's got a bad attitude. Um, but uh, I think if you give them enough room that they can run away from each other and do a little escape, they'll be all right. That's a little rooster bragging, um, just making noise. The hens are uh, quiet. Got another little rooster over in the uh, big enclosure making noise. So, <laughs> he's proud of himself for something. I don't know what. Uh, but they're doing all right. They're doing good. They're just all babies right now. And uh, they're growing up. I've got uh, a bachelor pad full of uh, roosters that I need to uh, put in the freezer. <laughs> but uh, anyway, next project for the cages is going to be a way to do a roundup. And because uh, eventually, you know, I'm going to have to. Uh, catch these birds. I'll probably have to segregate them out, males, females, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll have to catch them. And so I've got to find a way to herd them all into a smaller area. Uh, a little two foot by four foot area would be fine. And uh, so I'm going to make a divider that I can put down inside and push from one end of the cage to the other and kind of crowd all the birds into one little area so that I can uh, reach in and catch them. All right, well, let's end it there. And uh, y'all have a good night. It is Saturday, the 11th of May, and uh, we'll see you next time around.